Hello, my name is Galang and we are going to talk about basic emotions and the biological processes. As you may know, there are six basic emotions based on Paul Ekman's study. Happy, sad, fear, angry, surprise, and disgust. The first emotion is fear. Fear is a rapid response to a threatening stimulus. So the function of fear is usually to protect us from a danger. But what is the difference between fear and anxiety? Fear is usually triggered by specific external stimuli, but anxiety usually is triggered by internal stimuli. For example, something that we remember, so something from our memory, it's going to make people anxious. But too much fear is going to cause phobia. And when we are talking about phobia, phobia is some, sometimes is unrealistic fear. Like you are afraid of something that, it, that has no objective potential danger. So that's the difference between fear, phobia, and anxiety. Amygdala, which is area of the brain, and also sympathetic nervous system is responsible for fear. So when they work together, it's going to cause a physiological responses, for example, like your heartbeat increase, and etc. And that's a sign that people are afraid. And usually, it's going to trigger three kind of responses, fighting, flight, or freeze. Like you kind of like, you have no idea what to do. So you're like freezing in the moment, you have no idea what to do. The second emotion is disgust. So disgust has similar function as fear is to make you avoid of something. But disgust is responding to non-threatening object. So you feel that the object is not threatening you but still it's going to make you move away. So disgust has a function to protect us from illness and infections. Although the behavioral pattern between disgust and fear is the same, but the biological process is very different. So when you are afraid of something, you increase the heartbeat. But when you discuss about something, your heartbeat decreases. So the biological process underlying disgust is through the parasympathetic nervous system. The third emotion is anger. And people usually say anger as emotional outbursts. And the most significant behavior of anger is aggression, although you don't need to be aggressive when you are angry with someone. There are so many sources of anger. For example, if you are frustrated about something, or if you think that something is unfair, then you are going to be angry with that. And the biological process underlying anger is sympathetic nervous system because when you are angry you are going to increase the heartbeat and the fourth emotion is sadness and sadness is usually the result from loss like you're losing some someone or you are losing something that is valuable and long-term sadness is going to cause people to get depressed but being sad is not always bad because some people say that when you're sad, it's going to make you more analytical, more creative, more innovative. So the bottom line here is like, how do you manage your sadness 
to be something productive. And when you're sad, you are going to increase the heartbeat and you are going to release a hormone cortisol. And hormone cortisol is also well known as a hormone of stress. And the fifth emotion is joy or happiness. And happiness is when you anticipate that something good is going to happen. This kind of emotion is also related with reward or pleasure. And luckily for us, when we are happy, it's going to activate a lot of more brain areas. So even we have what we call as a pleasure network. It consists of a lot of region of the brain. For example, like hypothalamus, amygdala, orbital frontal cortex, and a lot of more brain area that is activated when we are happy. And the sixth emotion or the last is surprise. So surprise is emotions that people show when they anticipate or when they respond to something novel or new or something unfamiliar or something that is so complex. So based on previous study, those six basic emotions trigger different kinds or different regions of the brain. It makes the research of emotion is complicated but still really really interesting that's all for now i'll see you in the next video